Okay. Now we're ready. All right. You ready, Dick? Yep. All right. This is the Giz Fizz, episode 505 for Saturday, December 10th, 2022. Hit it, Burke. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Wiz. It's kind of like Cheese Wiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Wiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to not regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz because it's our final Giz Fizz of 2022. Uh, so, do we have a chat room celebrity of the week? No, we don't even have crickets. The crickets have gone home for the holidays. For a match game, we do have Alex in studio in person. And we're going to do... There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Gumpel from Como, Seattle, Washington. Uh, no, there were no hops. I guess the hop lady is on vacation also. Everyone's gone to bed uh, so already. Uh, he's gone to bed. Okay. So we're going to do photos from... Ju we're going to do photos from George Davis. Seems like Esther terrestrials are in the building. Uh, okay. We're going to do photos George uh, has sent in that you're going to caption. We have fascinating facts from George. We're going to play logo. We're going to do uh, some match game. And uh, we were going to toast the end of the Saturday show, but I don't know. I think the champagne is dead flat by now. Uh, Esther Terrestrial. She lives upstairs. Okay. Photo number one. From George Davis is this one right here. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, okay, a really rundown old house in the weeds. Okay, a really rundown old house and a full moon in the background. Okay, kind of decrepit old house if you're just listening. Decrepit old house in the woods, full moon. <laughs> uh, redacted the old Twit studio. I'm sure a witch lives there. The Gumpel Mansion, moons over my hammy. Lady in the Shoe never had it so good. Uh, very Haunted Christmas. The house Hansel and Gretel bought. Oh, that's good. House in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it was once a house in the middle. Giraffes lived there. Full moon, not a good sign. Restored Hansel and Gretel. Oh, no, the moon is falling. <laughs> Twisted Mr. said, the last Montgomery Ward... Uh, are you sure the builder's kit said high rise moon over my shanty that house that isn't run down it's grown up it's where spiders sleep house for rent needs work four thousand dollars a month made of gingerbread uh hawks post horror fixer upper and we'll end with web 96 who says the house of the grinch uh, let's see. George says for the photo of a small house with a steep brick tile roof. My caption is I spent all week looking for a roofer with a long ladder. Have to hurry up and get this roof repaired because it's going to rain heavy this Sunday. Uh, okay. Photo two. <laughs> um it's a man in a little hot rod car a man in a little mini hot rod car 
And the hot rod's called Hot Rod Fun Bucharest at hotrod-fun.com. Um, soapbox Derby Revival, Leo's new Tesla, topless gear. I may be wrong, but that man has a small winky. Uh, zero to 60 in eight seconds, Soapbox Hot Rod. Uh, go to work, Echo Line. Herbie the Love Bug's little brother, breakfast burrito on wheels, escape from Autopia, TikTok 500, couldn't afford the full size version. Hunk, if you're embarrassed, uh, Elrond's new Tesla after Twitter failure. Uh, wow, they're going so fast. Bad to the bone, looks like so much fun. Giz was on his day off, grown man in a child's car. Uh, I thought he'd be taking a shower when they said I was getting into the soapbox. World's smallest car. Steve McQueen when he's past his prime. Burke's ride. Pinewood Derby. Hoovy's garage. Faster. Compact drag. We'll end with Doug M. This is all the car my insurance will let me afford. George said, this is my dad and his first car. The photo is my dad and his first car. And my caption is, my father got this car when he was 14. And this is how he learned how to drive on back streets. Uh, okay, photo three. Okay, it's a young lady holding a ball in each hand looked like basketballs one ball says no one ball says yes and she's shrugging like i don't know i don't know what it should be why not both maybe maybe yes maybe no i don't know yes we have no volleyballs will you marry me uh, the answer lady on Monday, undecided 2023 elections. Stay tuned. Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> Twisted Mr. Jory Instructions. Magic Ball 8 says, live version of the Magic 8 Ball. Swing Voter. Yes, we have no balls today. The girl who ate the Magic 8 Ball. Simplified Powerball. Gizwiz fans deciding if they'll move to Wednesday. The answer to, do I have a chin? Worst Powerball ever. And we'll end with Caesar. I make my, de my decisions by juggling. Whichever falls is the answer. Okay. George said, for the photo of a young girl with a complicated look on her face, my caption is, with the different question I asked her, she's going to raise one arm as to whether she's going to be able to answer my question or not. Uh, okay, photo four. old wooden wagon against a dead tree <laughs> and the dead tree has pottery on every branch of the tree okay old wooden wagon and pottery all hung up on tree branches <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know if you can see it, but in the middle of all of this is a, a modern day security camera. Two of them. Um, Rain Man's Tree. Jugger Tree. Potheads in the Old West. Pottery does not grow on trees, do they? This is my old pot plant. Oh, that's funny. Pot dealer. Gone to pot. A pot plant. One tree in the whole damn desert. And wouldn't you know, I hit it. Oh, that's funny. You heard of Pottery Bond? This is Pottery Tree. Dude, your plant, uh, your pot plant sucks. This place has gone to pot. 
Electrify America in 20 years, honeypot trap for poo bears. I dry my pottery on a tree. When I was looking for a pot tree, this is not what I meant. Water storage in the desert. Let's try to catch these pots with the wagon. How pot was grown in the old west. Uh, after all, pottery doesn't grow on trees and we'll end with Gumby. What do you think? Pots grow on trees? Uh, okay, George said, for a cart full of loaded pottery next to a tree, my caption is, I come here every other weekend, load this tree up with pottery, and I do quite well with my sales. I sell most of the time. Wow. You have, to, you have to climb that tree, everybody says. Can I see that pot? Uh, all right. Photo five. Photo five. I don't play cards, so let me look what George said. Uh, photo five is a five-card royal flush. We're looking at a five-card royal flush. We're looking at the, the uh, cards facing us. Wow. Chat room knows. Straight, royal flush, straight flush. Sound effect for the Giz Fizz PM. Oh, yeah, royal flush. Royal tie flush. Feeling kind of flush. Royal flush. This hand is not going to pot. Royal flush, I win. Uh, Harry Potter's tree. It's in the cards. I think I got a touchdown. What do you think? Royal flush. Winning Jim Brady's last hand. Royal, uh, a full house royal flush of my dreams. Your toilet can have a royal flush. Pick a card, any card. Royal flush beats a full house if you're a plumber. A high flush, nada, I might as well fold. Flush the toilet, found the flush. This is what happened when King Charles goes to the bathroom. It's a royal flush. And we'll end with pack and W I heart this hand. Okay. George said for the five card Royal flush. My caption is this is the first time I'm, I've ever gotten the Royal flush. Why did it have to be at home? Why couldn't it have been when I was in Las Vegas? Uh, okay. Photo six of six is. Two signs on a pole, arrow pointing this way, arrow pointing that way. Two arrows on the pole pointing in opposite directions, pointing this way and that way. Uh, wrong way, Conrad, this way or that, my way. He went where? Some go this way, some go that way. My way or the highway. Dems to the left for pubs to the right. Jury instructions. You can't get there from here. Give me a sign. This is a crash into sign. Can't get there from here. Confused sign painter. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. The way less taken. Days of uncertainty. Flip a coin. Can I go both ways? I went this way. I should have gone that way. Uh, signposts uh, for the Gizwiz podcast 2023. Come to think of it, you can't get there from here. But I wanted to go the other way. Uh, whoa, they're going fast. Where does the Gizwiz go when the sign says it? Wrong way, Conway. Use the yes or no ball. <laughs> That's funny. Use the yes or no balls to get the answer. You can't go with this. You can go with that. Starbucks locator. It's up to you. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And we'll end with Morgus. There's no wrong way. Okay. George said for two signs on a pole, my caption is, this is crazy. Being lost way out here, and these are the only two signs I've seen in the in 20 miles. 
help. Okay. George says, here are some fun, short, interesting facts. During Prohibition, moonshiners used to wear cow shoes on their feet to keep away from being tracked by the authorities. Pretty smart idea. Cow oh, cow shoes. Uh, I don't uh, cow shoes. I don't know. I guess they made cow shoes that less cow prints. I don't know. That's what it says. Don't don't forget what. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. All right, chat room. I left out. A uh, photo I had on Facebook got a, re a lot of reaction. I thought we could caption it. So Dick D's photo seven is this. All right, we need captions for this. And then some of you know the backstory. If not, I'll just tell it again. Okay. Uh, if you're doing audio, I'm sitting in a chair. I am staring at a, a tiger standing about a foot away from me. He's not on a chain. And the man is gently holding the tiger by the mane. Uh, let's see. Cat got your torso. Really? You want to eat my arm? Hold that tiger. Here, kitty. And you're my partner. Do I smell bacon in your pocket? Siegfried, want an appetizer? Dick feeding a little kitty. Excuse me. I don't know this cat. Quite a tiger. I'm not lying. This guy looks tasty. It's great. I taught, I taught a putty cat. And Bigfoot prints are made by cows wearing disguised shoes. If I get up this school, if I get up, I'd get up if the stool had a seat. Ill-fated tiger, mesmerizing career of Dickie D. Wow. One big kitty. Where's Charlie when I need him? Hope they don't knock you off the tiger's cage. Put that tiger in your tank here, kitty, kitty. Uh, early Dick Daring. No, I don't have nine lives. I ain't afraid of you. That's a big cat. What the F, Siegfried? Here, kitty, kitty, protecting the jewels. Uh, I got a tiger by the tail. It's plain to see. And we'll end with Doug M. Tony, Dick, Dick, Tony. <laughs> Me meeting Tony the tiger. Uh, okay, this is from a show called That's, That's My Line, Not What's My Line. It was a show about people with weird occupations and a man had invented a device that could tell if you are frightened. Okay. I, I, I guess I'm sitting on, <laughs> I guess I'm sitting on the pad that's connected to the machine behind me. And I think I registered 20% fear. Um, you know, it was a little scary because... Only 20? I would be at like 80, 90, <laughs> 95%. Because, uh, you, know, you know, it's a tiger. And the guy, there was no chain on the tiger. So if the tiger decided to jump, um, <laughs> how's the guy going to hold him? And it, uh, I told the story on, on Giz Wiz. Had this happened after an encounter we had at NBC uh, with Soupy Sale. We, we had someone on to tell the truth. I don't remember the story. It's something to do with a tiger. And we had the live tiger in the studio so that after he told his story, he would go back and bring the tiger out. And backstage was a little cramped and the tiger had come in a very large metal cage. <laughs> so to make more room backstage, when the tiger was removed from the cage, the stagehand stood this huge tiger cage on end. All right. Fortunately, it was not on air. But during rehearsal, 
the stagehands were mo were, were moving something else around, and somehow they knocked the cage over. Well, this made an incredible crash that not only scared us, but the freaking tiger went berserk. Fortunately, that tiger was on a chain and I think NBC required two handlers and they were able to retain him. Um, <laughs> but that, that was very scary. And I guess that's a network policy. I don't know why it wasn't enforced here. I guess it's a new policy because it was very funny. When we bought Charlie, you know, uh, Giz Fizz Charlie to end to ABC, I got this contract from ABC, security, the security department. Charlie was going to be in the spot uh, in a backpack. Charlie must be handled by two handlers. So I said, well, can I be one handler to the producer? And they said, yeah. I said, can Dennis be the other handler? The, he said, look, it just has to be two people. When you're coming in the door, Charlie has to be on a leash. And two of you have to be there <laughs> with Charlie. Uh, so I guess that clause had already been in effect at NBC, which is why there were two handlers. You would think for a tiger, you would have eight handlers, but uh, they weren't. Okay, now we can go on with uh, George's. All right, so you heard about that, okay. Uh, moonshiners wore cow shoes to keep from being tracked by the authorities. Ants? Holy cow. Ants rest for eight minutes out of every 10 to 12 hours they work. Alex, you better pray that your boss doesn't see this because you're working 10 hour days, right? Ants rest eight minutes out of every 10 to 12 hours of work. Wow. Uh, this is a big controversy, George, but in theory, this is correct. Interesting short fact. Water, hot water freezes faster than cold water. And uh, on Mythbusters, they did prove that this is true. Hot water, I think there are some variables to it, but it, it there are times when hot water freezes faster than cold water. Coca-Cola used to be green. Coca-Cola used to be green. Uh, now we're getting false, false, false. No, it's not a fact of crap. It's a fact. It is a fact. Um, now let's see. Does anybody know the shortest complete sentence in the English language? I have it here. George said, this sentence is the shortest complete sentence in the English language. No, it's not a sentence. <laughs> um, oh, why well, do you have it? Burke, any idea? I have no idea. Uh, Alex? Um, I have no idea. Okay. It is. Chat room, why do you have it? I am. I am. Period. I am, period, is the shortest complete sentence <laughs> in the English language. No, not what me worry. That's close. Uh, George says, thanks again, chat room. You were great. Just one more. Joe, there's, there is no more, one more official Gizfish show left. Uh, next Saturday, I do radio. And then they will be rehearsing 
the new Sunday show. So this is the last Gizwiz of 2022. Uh, um, okay, we're going to do some assorted stuff. Um, I guess I'll run a little bit over. Mm -mm -mm. Slogans. What auto company uses the slogan make every mile count? What auto company uses the slogan? See, I don't follow a cause, so maybe you'll know. Make every mile count. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> It ain't a popular car company, uh, to my mind. Make every mile count. Mm, no. All right, so J286 said, it says mile, so it's American. Or at least the ads that they run in America are. Fiat, no. Checker cabs, no. No. All right. No, no one has it. It's a very small car company, I believe. It is Kia. Okay. I know Kia only because I've seen them at a car show. Um, wow. Who uses the slogan know how? These are hard. Who uses the slogan know how? Alex knows this one. Say again. I said Alex knows mm -hmm. this one. Oh, he does. Okay. It's K-N-O-W. Oh, Alex knows it. Okay. I guess he would. What company uses the slogan know how? K-N-O-W, H-O-W. We'll be doing match game in like three minutes, Dennis. <laughs> okay, hang on. Uh, well, let's cut to Alex. Alex knows. Alex, what company uses the slogan "Know How"? K N O W How. Come to me afterwards. I'm, I'm looking Come something up. Oh wait, you're looking up the answer? No, I'm just a. a I'm looking up my response. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, I, I think it has. Uh, well, you know what? We'll hold this to the end. Okay. 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 All right. Chat room. We're we're starting early. Okay. To for the end of. Everything's so screwed up. Yeah. No, that that's okay. It doesn't matter. Um. So, Alex, you're going to tell us, so I can go on to the next question. Yeah. I think he's speaking in in images. What? Actually, is what he's doing. Take two pieces. So here we go. Are you finding a picture? Oh, oh. Uh, hi there. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Brian Burnett. And occasionally on this know was the know we how have that, what we like to call know-it-alls come on the show. And today we have Alex Gumpel. How you doing, Alex? Hey, Brian. Thanks for having me. Well, okay, that's <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Thanks for coming on the show. Um, so you're our guest expert, and what would you like to show us today? Well, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the memory in your Macintosh computer. Okay, that sounds like it'd be something pretty handy. Yeah, I know. figured um, a lot of people have Macintoshes, and uh, upgrading your memory can increase your performance uh, for many applications. Right. And so forth. Okay, oh, play a little more. Okay, it's very good. Play a little more because I, I, I want to drink my champagne. For well, our average viewers? Well, that, that depends. So um, it depends on what kind of Macintosh you have. Mm -hmm. uh, you can either you have a modular one, which is fairly simple to do because that's ready for expandability. But then there's the, uh, the compact Macintosh units, and those are a little trickier to get in. Um, but uh, so I figured we'll, we'll start with the modular one, and uh, it's easy, and then we'll... we'll All right, there. let's bring out the model. So actually, before, before we get to uh, bringing those out, uh, we have uh, two uh, Macintosh memory upgrade kits. Uh, oh, wow, sets. look at these so guys. Bring those over there. So these are, these are the single inline memory I modules, or SIMs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, a set of each of these is 
uh, which, which one is this? Okay, so these are four megabytes each, and this is one megabyte each. So wow. we got four megs and then uh, 16 megs here. Oh, okay. Uh, now, a, a quick and dirty way to determine um, the capacity of one of these SIMs, and it's not always the case, but on some of them, if you look on the chips, I don't know if you can see this, Brian. Wow, that's pretty there's close. A, there's a number down there. We probably won't be able to get it on camera with these standard no, definitions. No, just take um, our words for it. Folks. But it says uh, it says there's a 1,000 there. Yeah. That that means about one megabyte. So so okay. this this wow. that so the chip says 1,000. That I means can't the tell SIM if they're is, doing is really one meg. Now this is this is humor or and not. Humor And so uh, sure. this is uh, four megs. Four megs. Okay. Per SIM. Okay, we're, well, All we, right, we can so fade we'll out. be upgrading okay. from what? What, what do well, we, we have should, here? We, Let's take a look. We should this. save that, and next time we'll play another four minutes of it. Um, okay. So no one, yeah, it, and you know, no one got it right. It's a camera company. Know how is used by Canon. Okay. Uh, uh, um. I'll give you an easy. Oh, uh, everybody knows this. Just so you feel like you knows you know everything. Fill it to the rim with blank. Finish this company's slogan. Fill it to the rim with. All right. No, Kia, not IKEA. The car is Kia. Uh, correct, 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 correct. Okay. Uh, is there anything else on this card? Boy, these are these are impossible. Live like you mean it. <laughs> Who uses the slogan "Live like you mean it"? Nobody. Yeah, no, me either. I mean, I heard of the company. <laughs> the Johnson Casket Company. <laughs> the Dead Poet Society. Nobody does. I don't know. No, live like you mean it. Land Rover. All right. All right, we're gonna okay. Oh, you know what? It's Land getting very Rover. late. We're gonna what? <laughs> That's what it says. Okay. Yeah, I believe it. That's what it says. Um. Okay. All right, we'll go. We'll do some match game because it's five to eight. Or it's five to eight already. I can't believe it. Um. Oh, get Charlie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, Charlie. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? I have a. When we get Charlie time, there's a gift for Charlie. Oh, please thank Becky for the. Oh my God. Please. Yes. So I opened a box, surprise box the other day. There's a pound of uh, peanut brittle, a box of, uh, I think like peppermint marshmallows, and there was. Oh, a box of assorted chocolates, all from C's. And I thought it was, well, was from my dentist. <laughs> and it turned out it was from Becky. So, Becky, oh my God. Thank you, Becky. Becky, <laughs> thank you. Um, okay, so Dennis is going to get Charlie when Charlie comes down. Marie and Ken and Marie sent Charlie a gift. Okay, so we'll let Charlie. Uh, see what his gift is in the meantime we will do a match game <laughs> no i thought it was from my dentist but it was from becky becky is not my dentist um oh you know we probably did this before but it's funny we'll do it again uh many people don't know this but there was a fourth little piggy and his house was made of blank Not many people know. Oh, no thinking music, Burke. I got you. I got you. Okay, good. And Alex, Alex, you play too. Not many people know this, but there was a fourth little piggy. Don't answer out loud, Dennis, but you don't have to write it down. Not many people know this, but there was a fourth little piggy 
and his house was made out of asbestos, kosher salt, cement, cardboard. Yeah, I went toward worse build. Bacon, wolf skulls. Oh, my God. A shipping container, deer carcasses, Gumby, Wee Wee, all the way home, bacon. Oh, my. Oh, no, I thought I got a match. I didn't. Uh, wood grain formica, recycled paper, hemp, playing cards. Actually, playing cards is very funny. Fiberglass. I guess it is hard to match. Cow shoes, sawdust. Dennis, your answer. I was say fiberglass too. Uh, uh, Dennis said fiberglass. He got a match. Uh, someone said. Say again. I said quack. Because the sound effect is gone. The sound effect is gone. Okay. It's uh. I said. Well, we're going to match. I'm going to match Myra. I said newspaper. Myra said paper mache. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there you go. That No, that's that's not a match. Uh, okay. Burke, what was your answer? The fourth little piggy's house was made of? Oh, I could do this. I could do this. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, I think you got a match. I don't know why, but I think you got a match. Um, okay, and Alex, the fourth little piggy's house was made out of bomb-proof paint in the middle. No, close. Uh, uh, um, okay. Where did I put that? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. was made out of um, uh, answer from last week. The hunchback of Notre Dame said, I'm not really a hunchback. I keep my bike under my jacket. The hunchback of Notre Dame said, I'm not really a hunchback. I keep my blank under my jacket. I got a great answer. Uh, uh, um, no thing. Oh, we don't have thinking music, right? No. Oh, there we go. My cow shoes, my pet turtle, my knapsack, my backpack, my camera bag, uh, my wife, my ugly stick, my oh, my sleeping bag. Oh no, I'm not gonna get a match. Basketball, football, whiskey, purse, boombox. Turtle whack, second head, basketball. Oh no. Hope and dreams. Dog, gazelle, desktop computer. No tame football helmet. That's very funny. Uh, my lovely lady lumps, my quacks, Atlas of the World, change of clothes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I can't believe it. I have zero matches. Uh, Dennis, we'll start with you. Hunchback of Notre Dame said, I'm not really a hunchback. I keep my blank under my jacket. <laughs> I keep my willy under my jacket. <laughs> I thought for sure I... Oh, Web 6604. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lunch. <laughs> okay, that was a match. A weak match. Uh, Alex, the hunchback of Notre Dame. I'm really not a hunchback. I keep my blank. Oh, lunch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Burke. What is ding ding? Is that the same thing as a willy? Uh, no, ding ding. It means uh, the bell. Oh, okay. That that you got it right. Um, Burke, you said I'm really not a hunchback. I keep my blank under here. Back brace. Mm. Not a bad answer, but you got no matches. Um, uh, um. <laughs> mean Marvin is so mean. I don't think he was 
Thank you. He I'm put a snake. Oh, wait, Alex? He, he put a snake around his nearsighted wife's neck and told her it was a blank. Don't forget, this is this question is from 1983. What's that? Almost was it 40 years old? Mean Marvin was so mean he put a snake around his nearsighted wife's neck and told her it was a blank. Uh, uh... Oh, actually, I got a great answer. Charlie Soon, Hangman's Noose, a scarf, a popsicle, a mink. Okay, I got a match. I got another match. <laughs> Snake skins told his wife it was a water hose, a kitten, a quilt trip, a feather boa, feather boa. Um, okay, Alex, we're going to start with you. Mean Marvin was so mean, he put a snake around his nearsighted wife's neck and told her it was a squirmy necklace. Uh, okay, Burke. Well, you got it half right. A gift from dad. All right, where's the? Thank you. Uh, I got a lot of matches and said it was a bower. <laughs> I hope by 2023 we can get a different sound effect. A choker. Did anybody say choker? Definitely we can. Someone said choker. Okay. Get give Dennis the duck, Charlie. Okay, Charlie. One more question and then it will be you. Okay. Uh, um, oh, wow. Chuck said, it's true. You get what you pay for. I got a nose job that was only $20. <laughs> My new nose is blanked on. Charlie, in a minute. Charlie said, it's really true. You get what you paid for. I had a nose job for $20. Problem is, my new nose is blanked on. Oh, I got a great answer. I got a great answer. Talk about cheap. I have a super answer. Jolly said, it's true you get your paid for. I had a nose job, cost only 20 bucks. Downside, my new nose is blanked on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, matches. Stapled, plastered, spackled, carved, safety pin. That's funny. Uh, okay. We're going to start with me. <laughs> I know I got at least five matches. Are you getting your paid for a nose job for 20 bucks? My new nose is blanked on. Painted on. Eric Duckman, one going by right now. Painted. <laughs> <laughs> what a sound effect. Burke, your answer. My new nose is blanked on. Stone on. I think you got some matches, didn't you? <laughs> Alex. My new nose is blanked on, painted, yay! And Dennis, glued on. You got some matches too. Dennis said glued on. Charlie, yes, you. But Charlie, we're gonna take the camera down. Turn on the overhead, Dennis. Uh, okay, so, so that uh, you can open this, Dennis and hold it for Charlie and I will try and focus the camera. Charlie, this is for you. <laughs> hang on, chat room. Charlie, hang on. Hang on, Charlie. Okay. Charlie, that's for you. De Dennis, look. Charlie, bring it down. Uh, Charlie, what's in there? Get that. That's your gift. Start to un unpack it for me. Charlie, look in there. 
take out the next one charlie what's in there charlie no no he he, he wants to be on camera what's in there oh my god oh what is that oh my god what is that oh my god oh oh my goodness help him oh wow oh my god oh, my, give me that i need that uh give me that give me that help him get it out of there i need that whatever it is i've been wanting that oh boy look at me i got it now screw the chat room i got a toy oh my god look at me <laughs> no there's no more in there charlie that was <laughs> he said, just one gift just one gift he said i'm sure there's something else in here <laughs> all right that was great that was <laughs> That was very. Is there a treat too? Yeah. Uh, all right, chat room. Uh, that yeah, hmm. that's very funny. Where are the snacks? Where's the steak? Um. So chat room, this has been great fun. Uh, um. So if you're joining us late, this is it for 2022, and the show is returning January, I think. I'm not sure what day. The first Wednesday, I guess, uh, in the new year. And it will follow this week in Google. Oh, and then there's Dennis. Um, so chat room by 2022 and on to 2023. Um, regular old-fashioned giz fizz. is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. I'm Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Charlie the Dog, Alex Gumpel, Jamma B, Bargain Basement Burke, Beatmaster, Doug M, Super Root, Becky, Geek Wannabe, Myra Joyce, TI-83, Demos, Loke, Wizard of Oz, Hawks Post, Burn Tech, Chicago, oh, it's gone. Caesar, Roberto Hellman. Uh, HC Editor, Heckinos Gumby. Magoo, Ranger Rick. Dan Dooku. Wizard of Oz production brought to you by Turtle Wax. It's not just for turtles anymore. All right, so chat room, have a great... Alex, thank you. Um... We will be here next year. I, that's it for Twit for... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I'm doing radio next Saturday. Okay, there'll be a radio spot next Saturday. And then there'll be a rehearsal of the new show right after radio finishes next Saturday. So chat room, I'll see you next, uh, next week. Um, Burke, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> Okay. You're very welcome. Uh, Thanks and okay, okay. Dick, Dick yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you and Dennis and Myra over there, and it's been a whole lot of fun. No, Myra, Myra's in her own home now. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Bye, Beat Master. If you hung around, thank you. He's here. Okay, he bye. Here. Bye, Dick. Okay. I'll, we'll see bye you bye. soon. Bye. Okay. I wish Thanks. I could be better for you. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's and okay. Okay, the new uh, Mad will be there for next Saturday show. <sighs> Okay, it's it's a it's a dress Thank to jam a beast. So if he's not coming in, no, clearly back. I know who you were talking about. It wasn't me. <laughs> Rightfully <been> so. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye. Finally, Myra's in a home. <laughs> All right. Good night, chat room. Well, we're gonna go have dinner now. Oh my god, a very late dinner. Bye. Bye. Bye, Alex. Bye, Burke. Bye, everybody. This is fun. Random popping. What have we got coming up, Burke? Oh, some reruns. Oh, reruns. Excellent. Yeah. I get a copy of that. You're going to have to. Oh, did I tell you you have to vamp for about four or five minutes? Oh, I'm no good at vamping. That's a lie. Oh, good, the Alex show. Yeah, nobody wants that. Oh, God, imagine. If... <laughs> oh, I know. I, In fact, I know uh, something that 
Well, you can vamp. You will be vamping. Not live. What is it, Burke? It's a thing. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we could all cringe at this. Uh, workstation uh, modular. You're not wrong. System. Very stylish. So uh, it's fairly simple to open uh, because that's by design. Uh, now, uh, one thing is you may have a security screw back here. Uh, so we'll have to remove that first. Okay. So we just take your standard uh, Phillips screwdriver or um, whatever it happens to be. I'll just kind of get that in there. Mm -hmm. And 